We're starting at, at this Kharev. Kharev. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who wants the first one? I'll take it. Sweet. All yours. Uh, her F, her Jed and F. Um, I think this is the close quotes of the phrase, we this, of this preceding phrase that started with the her F, uh, whatever started with me, me nai. He said thusly. So I think this is this is saying, said he, said to him. Mm -hmm. We agree. Um, her ib i er di. Um, uh, ir ek en f nechetu. Um, so I desire to give. Uh, I desire to make you to him a protector. So mm -hmm. I want to make you his protector. That makes perfect sense. And I had, as I was looking at the sentence, I had two questions um, and I don't have answers. The one that you asked, like, where does this heref belong? Is that closing the quote before? Um, or is that introducing the next one? So is it heref, her jetnaf? Um, and then obviously here it's colon and the, the sentence starts. So that one I'm not decided on if this tags onto here or tags over here. If it tagged onto the previous sentence, then that curve stands completely, completely naked, right? And I don't think that's possible. So mentally, I would think... Wouldn't it go with the, like, Herr Jadenev, he, he, as in he was saying to him? Yeah, but wouldn't there have to be like a, a UF or something first? Like, wouldn't you want something like, oh, it's a she, it's her in this case. So it would be you, you said something like that first, before the her. Yeah. If, if this belongs to this part, if the sentence finishes here. How did he do it in the open quotes in the line above? That. Great question. Uh, Let's have a look. Oh, it's her f me nai her jed and 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 pa to my child. Yeah. Right, right. But I'll admit I'm not completely clear on on how her f works either. Um, mm -hmm. But this here is not a quote. This is just narration. So this one clearly starts the sentence. That I think that part mm -hmm. we can say with certainty. This one ends. Yeah. And this is a new. Right. One. He said thusly saying to my my child right 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 so that would make me think it's the same thing here again just without the thusly um but then my problem is it's her that's speaking because then the next thing she says is you know e, e, i desire i desire mm -hmm. i want so it wouldn't make sense for him to be and then he said oh you're right i yeah. want to make uh. you his protector that's a great point. I didn't even know. That's why I think it's the end quotes of like, so then he said, blah, 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 and I'm going to kick you out. He said to him. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? And just how do we get the naked herd? Well, that I, that I do not know. But let's have a look. If, if, if well, let's start with the, the obvious place. Um, 46. Nope. Even earlier. Oh, look at that. They take it very differently. They, they follow your approach. They say, Kharef refers to whatever was before. Her jed naf. And I just don't know why it would be naf and not nas. Is that a mistake? No, because he says to the boy, or he said to the boy. Oh, you are before. Yes, I'm going to kick you out refers to the boy, not to Isis. Mm. That's it. That's the key. You're absolutely right. So this is the stranger speaking, and this naf here is um, is Horus. I mean, or right. in the story, the so boy. He said to him, yeah. yeah, right. To him being not to Isis, but to to right. her son. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I think we've we've solved that one. Yeah, and then actually it makes sense. Then if the new start 
new one starts then and i want now exactly. i want you to do this and this and that that makes perfect the story sense. is finished and then the house right so we're saying the story finishes here and then mm -hmm. the conclusion therefore my heart is oh, yeah that makes sense so that she cl closes the story somehow like so spoke he to my son and now i want to continue to speak or something right, right. that makes sense yeah. so then my heart is upon giving you as a hero to him okay that makes sense was there something else i thought i had, had another thing that I wasn't clear on um I oh, know that makes sense now. I couldn't fit the herd, this herd into the, the construction, but now if that's a new sentence, that makes sense. Just sentence initial herd. Very cool. All right. Um, should we take a quick look at the hieratic? I don't think there's too much in there. Um, so, herd of written together. Wait, uh, head, uh, me messing things up. So here's the first herd of, sorry. <laughs> herd of number yes, one. That's the herd. <laughs> that's the herd. Then there's the, the share, oh, share, how we, we want to pronounce it, share. Right. First one's third age, second one's second age. And yeah, the hair and the hair, I know. Right, the hair and the hair, which is not the same as the herd. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I should learn Arabic one day, that would really help. Um, but then, yeah, here's our 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 her with a long determinative stroke, determinative stroke. Jed en nef, her ib, yeah, ib is as you would expect, right? Um, yeah, that's about a pretty nice and big. Um, you two woman, little owl squished in the corner. Infinitive of uh, of T to give. Oh, I figured something out this morning, um, which wasn't clear to me before. I always wondered how you actually do the K. And I was copying the whole thing like in preparation for today. And um, I noticed how, finally how you do the K, which is kind of nice. Let's see if we can do that. Um, I think they start the loop here. And then you go down. So it's like this. Why do I think so? There was one case where you can see it. Which one was it? It may have been this one. But you can that see one right there. You can see it's not, the loop isn't connected at the top. Let's have a look. Um, I should have memorized which line it was where you could see that clearly. Um, Actually, with this one it is, I think, in the 12th line. Yeah, zoom in. Not totally connected. You sort of, I mean, well, you can see here's the ink is is thinner at the at the beginning and then becomes thicker towards the end. Oh, here you can see it, sort of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think you yeah. first go backwards and then you make the long long vertical. That seems to work better. Still not quite clear on that, but this text actually shows it nicely. But that would make I a wonder lot of if, like, sense. Is the first stroke disconnected, or is it just that the, it's flaked off there? It's hard to tell. It you looks mean, like there's a yeah, break. Right there, I think because yeah. you also have the second form of K where you have the bigger loop, that would make very much sense because then you would write it the same way, just like with a smaller or a bigger loop, but depending on how it fits into the text. That's not, actually interesting, yeah. Not sure I got that. Say that again. Oh, um, so isn't there, I got it, but there's like this, this bigger K thing with a bigger loop like that? And then if you have a smaller one, then you would just have the smaller loop and then draw it longer. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, exactly. So, so that would mean that you would write it actually in a very similar way and just just use the one that fits better, use right. the shape that fits better into the text. Exactly, exactly. So that he makes one. Here's a ginormous one somewhere a bit further down. Is that said? Oh, text here, yeah, the one down here. Um, Last line. Come on. There you go. Yeah, that was the one where I noticed it. Yeah. See this? How this is much lighter than... Oh, yeah. Can. So that mm -hmm. doesn't put me thinking. I think that's how you do it. That's the only way that makes sense. Yeah. That, I mean, you, I suppose you could do this too, but... Yeah, but you have... 
you have a separate stroke there. So the loop and the stroke is def definitely somehow separated and it would very much make sense when you say it's, you do the loop like the other way around. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of have a new beginning and then and then you have a bit of a darker ink. Right. Like you said, you can vary the, yeah. the angle, the length, whichever yeah. one. Yeah, so that makes sense, yeah. yeah you can now, say, say that there are a lot, of, no, a lot of places where you can see that a loop is somehow a little bit offset. Right? Angular, so it makes, yeah, mm -hmm. You're right. makes more sense if they did it actually that way. And by the way, I warmed up to your idea of how to do the the either the 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 um, the eye. I think you're right. It goes like this: chop, chop, chop. That makes perfect sense. I always thought you start in the middle, but if you do it the way that you proposed, like a few weeks back, if you do something like this, it's just way more natural. It's yeah, like, I just I actually did it even differently. I don't I really don't know if I'm right or not. I think you can. At reason you could do it different in different ways. But the, the thing is, like, what I would do is, like, one, two, three. And the reason why I would say that is that the last stroke is uh, essentially always distinct, separate. Because if it would be, like, the long one and then the last one, I would think that you might have sometimes a connection there or just like a... Are a kind of ending thing where it just goes off. Um, the second reason I was thinking is that by creating the long stroke first, you have a good baseline to to adjust into the text and then at the bits. But it's not as quick. That's true. But the most I think the most thing that was interesting to me is that the last stroke is always very separate. It's not a really interesting point. You're right. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Not sure. Honestly, not sure. It's a good point. You're saying basically, if what I'm saying is right, so you do this first, you do that, mm -hmm. then you would expect this to be somehow more, um, more connected. At least sometimes, like this, like sort of like like the way that you you finish an M, right? When you write horizontally, it goes out this way, or, or you, yeah, or even a, a D or an R. Hmm, interesting point. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, maybe, mm -hmm. just like the K, maybe one day it will become obvious which one it is. Um, yeah. In any case, this one's definitely the last. And yeah, I don't think this is the first. This is either, either this is the first or this is the first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those two go together. So we're coming closer to, to a reality. It would be interesting to have a look at other texts also. <laughs> But just looking now, but I'm just speaking for this text really because it's the only one I've really looked at. Mm -hmm. No, good point. You're right. Okay. There's I'm another one in line 12 if you want to compare. Well, I don't know that it tells you anything different. Oh, there's a couple in line 12 actually. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, you're right. Um, here's another one. Mm -hmm. And who knows? How do you tell that apart? Um, mm -hmm. The octagon is a good one. <laughs> uh -huh. My, my counter-argument would be the way that you do the T, I think you start at the top, um, uh -huh. the T, I mean, and it's just kind of, I don't know if you guys are the same, but when I draw my letters in, in Western writing, if they look structurally similar, I try to write them similarly. So I find it kind of odd that some signs you would start at the bottom, some at the top, um, but the argument stands. Why is this so strongly separated then? Uh -huh. I don't know. Could be. It isn't quite as much at the in the one at the beginning of the line. This one, yeah, huh? Very yeah. first one, yeah. It's like a tick. Hmm. We'll figure it out one day. Um, this here is all pretty clear. Oh, this one I think we need to talk about. Um, the the nishti or nashti or the, in this case the the nah, what you call it the red. So we have an N, which is somehow meshed up with the stick from the from the right, but it's really just a normal N, and then comes this thingy here. <clears throat> I try to remember what that looks like in the sailor. If I'm not completely mistaken, something like this. The wood, something like this. And then there comes like a little something at the bottom. Uh, we talked about that maybe very early on. 
Yeah, he makes it even simpler. There's no no onset or something. It's just really this. And yeah, I suppose this. I'm not sure if you loop here a little bit. Um, but that's the head sign, essentially. So it looks quite different from what you would expect from hieroglyphs. Then he somehow manages to squish a, a ch in there, which looks like an R. You just have to know. And the rest is clear, right? Then the two here, because we can. <laughs> All right. So is the word there nefet or is it nefet? This one here? Um, yeah. Well, it doesn't survive into, into Coptic. Um, the closest I can think of is nishti, nashti, uh, strong, depending mm -hmm. on dialect. Um, and I'm assuming this here, oh, you're saying, what, the, what is the TU doing in there? No, I was just asking what the word was. Like, is the N there a preposition or is it the part of the word? Oh, the N here is a part, part of the word. Of the word. Okay. That's part of the word. It's just the word strong, right? But in this case, meaning what, protector, guardian? Let's see what... Um, yeah, I found it as champion, yeah. Champion? Is that in Lesko? Or yeah, like that. Champion. Sounds... Champion? Ah, the, the problem is... No, that's just my my mobile dictionary, which is called Herodict, and I'm not sure where it comes from. It's a bigness. Got it. Oh, uh-huh. The Android app? Herodict? Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. Let oh look at that. Um, I'm going to open Let's Go here because that, there's more here than I thought. Um, let's go. Dude, what? Saw it already. So let's do this one. What may powerful the place. What may help? Hang on. How do I get rid of the ah good? Pull up public as well. Okie doke. So let's see. So first of all, necht, strong, uh, strong, mighty, powerful, right? So that's super common word. Um, apparently also victory. A slightly different spelling with a collective plural. Water spirit, well, here's our champion. So apparently there are a few sources. Strong man, protector, so just literally a strong person, right? It's just nominalized, not really, yeah. not really changed. It can even be a bully, apparently. Oh, look at that. Um, what else? I mean, the thing is, there is a TU at the end that we haven't explained yet. Um, it can also be a stronghold if it has a house behind it. Necht ar, so strong of arm. Um, a hero, a champion. And that's it. So I'm not quite sure what to make out of that too at the end. Um, in terms of Coptic, there's in short, to become hard, to become strong. 
And there is, so that's the, that's one. Where's the other? There should be one more. No ocean, I'm not looking for that. Hmm. Is it strength? Not that one. I'm looking for Nishti, but I can't find it. The vehicle has nushed. Uh huh. And that stands for? Um, strong, hard. There you go. To be and strong. here's Nashte, here's strength. Um, yeah. Okay. So some forms survive. The champion, I think, does not. Now, why does this one have the extra two? I mean, it's very clearly written. Yeah. Preserve the T. I mean, if the T survives into Coptic, is this a pronounce the T situation? I think it could be, right? That's one option. Or is it, for whatever reason, is that supposed to be? No, I think that is, that is it. I think it's a survive the T situation. At least that would make some sense. Hmm. Okay. All right, one sentence down, next one to go. Any takers? I guess I could try. Um, okay, so Aha and Setech, Per Jedanes. So, and then Seth said to her, Eir tu di na yaut in pa remich. Remit Jer, Jerry Jer, Jerry Jerry. <laughs> Sounds like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> Jerry Jerry. <laughs> you pa Sherry in pa something. Aha, a house. Yep. Okay. So then Seth said, and then <clears throat> is this the focalizing? Like, is it to be? Is the office to be given to the the Remit Jerry Jerry? That's like the foreign person. You mm -hmm. um, pa Sherry while the small child or the small one while the child nas of the of the something. Ah uh, aha! So well the. Well, the child of the something is still standing, something like that. Right. Or it's like right here is present. It's almost like a start in Spanish. Uh, it's like, okay. While, while he's here. Um, standing. But I wasn't sure what the shield guy word was. Yeah, it's a weird word choice because it kind of means isn't. warrior. Right. But yeah, I like it. it it's, it's like the, usually that's usually a soldier. Yeah. But and that's why it also means ju just means man. And I was thinking, could it just be like a kind of like a polite way of addressing uh, someone, a male person? No, mm -hmm. I, I can't say it with authority, but I think it's exactly the that's exactly it. Just like in Spanish, you say caballero. I mean, a caballero literally is a knight. It means cowboy, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or like, I don't know. In German, you sometimes might say things like camarade, which is also essentially a, a comrade, like a person from the, from the army, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I never thought of that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Hmm? So I think it's just a, uh, it's like a polite term, probably, to, to say okay. gentleman. Ahauti. Okay. So ahauti, apparently. And unfortunately, it does not survive into Coptic, to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. And I think I've seen in, in, in other texts, too. It may be in the Doom Prince, I'm not sure, but yeah, that seems to be like a caballero kind of situation. So yeah, then I think well, have so, right? so so Seth is like, really? Is it that they're going to give well, I guess the two is it's um 
that's the passive thing. So yes. is it that the office of is to be given to this foreign person while, so the EU, while the, the child of the caballero <laughs> is, is here, stand, <laughs> still standing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're herds people, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, might be a good translation. The has entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I think you're right. Um, so that is a passive second tense uh, right there. Yes. And circumscribed with, is it called circumscribed? No. How do you say that in English? Um Harry first the construction with ire basically, and then with the a little passive right here. Right. Actually, it's the whole thing. Is it to be done giving the office? Right. I think it, this is, is cattle. I here. think this is like that double meaning again with cattle. Oh, it's the herd. Mm -hmm. It's not. Well, yeah. it's probably deliberate double meaning then, because that's exactly I, the definitely word deliberate. But, but <laughs> in this context, it's cattle, and yeah, that's really clever. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's the great thing about a language with determinatives because you can make a joke in writing that isn't pronounced, oh, so yeah. like the reader can see it, but Seth can't hear can't her hear saying it. it. It's such a nice detail. Right. Really clever. Very true. Is there really a B two woman here? Yes, there is a B one woman. Yes, there mm, is. Yep, yep, that's a B one. It's very clear. Which doesn't make much sense in context. Must be an error. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Gardner marked it as an error. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. So, so we've had A1 for B1, and now we've had B1 for A1. Hmm? So well, I guess with Remich, like it ought to be both A1 and B1, yeah. but maybe they, oh. they got That's lazy and didn't write both. You're Although, right. why is it plural at all? If he's talking about a stranger. Hmm. And he does say pa. Yes, you're right. He does say pa. Is, is Remich just is kind of collectively plural, even when it refers to a singular one? Yeah, I get well, no, and the paw tells you that it's singular, right? Is Remich plural when it's one person? Hmm. Uh, let's take a look. That makes sense. I mean, in Middle Egyptian, is, is Remich ever one person? Like, um, yeah, I, th I think of it as is it's just, yeah, I guess it would just be saw if it were a man. You're right, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's that may indeed be later, huh? Remich or Rome as as one person, huh? So yeah, it feels a little like like this foreign people thing. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. It's very distancing. Careful. <laughs> 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 well, it's pretty ironic that Seth would feel that you know foreign people are bad since there's like. Some arguments that he's an imported god. That may very well, well be. Is he really? The, that may be the thing here. Although I only read the the judge as stranger. Um, yeah. Stranger or is it foreigner? Okay. It, it, well, a stranger is stranger, like someone who isn't from the family, as such, like an outsider. Yeah. That's appropriate right. to the uh, the context. I was just, I guess, I was reading it literally. Yeah. Although, if it had that implication, it would make it even stronger. To your point, that that you could think of said as coming from from further away, if if that's implied, that would be really interesting. Well, actually, that's the whole point, isn't it? Because, right. like, he is in a way, he is the damage in the story. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. That's that's a similar story, and that he doesn't he doesn't even know or he doesn't notice. And, uh, so here we have Remich as man or person. person without, with the person with the plural strokes. And with plural strokes. Mm. And sometimes mm. with A1 and B1. Right. Mm. Or just with A1 and plural strokes. Or just as man and woman together. Or just woman to mean woman. Right. But that doesn't make sense in context. <laughs> yeah, no, I think in this case it's maybe really just a misspelling. But apparently you can do it with only one one person. Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating because there's an arbitrary number of of, <laughs> um, <laughs> of yes. wild cards, asterisk. <laughs> ah well. Okay. Anything else I read again here? Because I think the grammar is clear. Um, 
this all looks good. N S E R I R T O D I T N A. I think by now we're used to this. Y A U T. Y A U T with the um, book roll on top. R M H. Oh, he he does us a favor. That's maybe something to point out. He does actually write the two differently. Here's the R, and then the Ch. He writes with the extra dot. Yeah. Mm. He's pretty consistent about that, I think. And there'll be something odd, just a few lines down, where he writes the word Rime to write, uh, to write, to um, to weep uh, or to cry. He writes that with, uh, with a Ch instead of an R, which is kind of mm. weird. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, okay. Jerry, Jerry. Lending person. Okay. You are a share, I think at this point in time means only son. It doesn't necessarily mean small child anymore. It doesn't mean small, it just means yeah. Son. But well, the, the child, I just think. Yeah. Interesting that he clearly writes an A at the end, right? It's like in Coptic, Shere. So he's he's telling us that there's a vowel here, Shere. Okay. Interesting also the highly the child is almost yeah. unrecognizable there. Yeah. It's like a sing show, like a, like a running script kind of thingy here at the end. Um, the aha is interesting. Just a big pillar and then like a little, almost looks like a man next to it, but I guess it's supposed to be the two arms. Uh, then this is a ligature here for the, there's a little T on top. I mean, individually you do them like this, right? Here's your T and here's your, your why and well, why not combine them while you edit? And that's really it. Yeah. What's the and, uh, at the end? That weird diagonal through the line is is a descender from the line of mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I guess the aha at the end. I just want to double check if Ramses agrees. That's. Um, the standing here would be a pseudoparticiple or um, what you call it? Um, stative. I mean, you could ask, what's the aha doing at the end? How does that? How does that? So it's a stative with an unwritten W or something. Yeah, seems like it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, doc. Another one down. Next one to go. Georg, do you want it? Um, sure, I can take it. Um, let's see. So we are here at the Aachen. Is it her ear? Hepper, Hepper, say, um, the one, one, ne, where, uh, Jer, Jerry, the bird, um, it's the kind uh, you say, uh, poet, you say, hems, uh, her ja, ja, tap, and where, and, uh, send, and so on. So let's see so far. So, um, so Isis makes her shape um, like as a like into a kite, um, and then she flies and she sits on um, on the tip, isn't it? On the head, on the tip of no, uh, yeah, that's the tip um, of a. Um, I found it as an acacia so on a tree. Indeed, indeed, an acacia tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. So she changes into bird form, and I thought I'd look up what that would look like. Let's see if it does us the favor. 
So something like our ISIS here on the left is not, nah? oh great. I mean, kite is one of, of her forms, right? There we go, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of small bird of prey, I guess. Yep, right. Like, like a little falcon or something, right? If I'm, if I'm not mm -hmm. And it survives in Coptic Esther. So you can actually read that mm -hmm. word as Esther and Coptic directly. It's the same thing. Which I wouldn't have known. No, I looked that up. <laughs> and the other one, the acacia. Uh, no, not the one in the bottle. This one. <laughs> So that's what she's sitting on. Mm. Okie doke. The acacia, does that live on? Wait, now I have to check my notes. Um, yes, Shante. Um, it is Shante over here, and it's still uh, Shante in, in Coptic. So this, this word is still there as George. So you could almost read this in Coptic, I think. This one we don't have. Um, form, her form. Is, this one doesn't survive. Um, you now use this, what is there? There's hold, and what's the other one for to fly? How do you say birds uh, flying, like flying creatures again? Can't think of it now. Halete. Yeah, that's from hold. Uh, um, so this one doesn't survive. Uh, is Hmos to sit, right? He judge in moi in shonte. Okay. Wow. It's kind of cool. I mean, you can almost read the whole sentence, like 80% of it in, in semi Coptic. All right. Well, well, the determinative is amazing. I'm desperate to get yeah. to the hieratic on that wing. It's so beautiful and so weird. <laughs> yeah, how do you do this? <laughs> it's like a thousand strokes. <laughs> yeah, like they, they really like... It's not actually that complicated. I would... The question well, is whether you mean, do it, it, it from left to right. It looks more like a painting than a... Yeah, than a, like it's, he a just, like... it's a lot of strokes for a letter. Or sign, yeah, like but... he was sketching rather than writing. Right. But but the protective wings are like so religiously important. Maybe it's like it's worth the effort to make it look nice. Oh, gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. Because it's a divine attribute. I think he's just, I, I mean, yeah. it could be, but I think he's just enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. a huge sign. Oh. Right? <laughs> are there simpler forms of this somewhere? Do you think Muller has it? Do you have a good number for me? Oh, you know what? Because it's not all that common, is it? Um... It's H5. H5, okay. Is that part of birds or? Yes. yes, H is parts of birds. Okay. There you go. There you go. Wow. Look at that. I do oh. it like that. Even oh. Muller's is really nice. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of them are simplified. But some of them are spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is kind of cool, huh? I mean, Chinese has those 20, 25 kind of stroke signs, so why not? But <laughs> this is up there. Wow. Very cool. Is, is, are there any connotations in Chinese to having that many strokes, or is it just the character is a complicated composite and that's what it's takes just, to be recognizable? I mean, what you can do in Chinese is where the characters are recursive. Um, you can always right. slap another determinative on there uh, and then make a more complicated sign. And so you take one as the phonetic and then you put another determinative in there and then you grow the character. I don't think it has any, any connotations. It's just because you can. Although, yeah. yeah. Also there are different, different reasons why that is. And some, I think some characters really are complicated 
um, on purpose. Like they have these less like, constructed ones that aren't really real characters in normal yeah, script, but they just put them together to create something bigger and so on. And uh, the Biam Biam Mian thing, I don't know what anyone thought creating. Uh, that's not the Biam Biam is. That's that's just insane. The Biam Biam noodle, yeah. 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 And the funny bit is try writing human. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've I've done this one before for calligraphy practice. Yeah. But, uh, it's actually. I think yeah. I think you you, you did it in, in the chat also. Yeah, yeah. That's but right. that's just insane for like, for like for like a quote unquote normal character. Right. Then there's those 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 ghost spell characters, right? Those those. Super complicated ones. Oops, nope, that's not what we want. Um, that looks rather scary. Now those incantation characters, I don't know what they're really called. They they are like for good luck to ward off evil evil things or something. It's a whole sentence squished into one character. We'd have to look for that now. But it certainly exists. Yeah. And then there are those those special characters. Um geez. Is it Uzatian characters? Yeah, there they are. She made up during her reign, she made up some special characters just for because she could. Like taking normal normal words and making them more complicated. Um not that anybody uses them anymore. Mm. Oh well. Let's go back to Egyptian. <laughs> Sorry, money right. But yeah, this thing is beautiful. Anything before that? Um, Isis, normal, her normal, Ire, Heper, Heperet. Um, anything to say here? Not really, no. Set, M, Y, Derry. Um, Derry, this is part of the. The pa determinative yeah. under the T, yeah. yeah. It's part of the bird. It has nothing to do with the article. Yeah. This thing is. It's the same sign, but it's being used as a determinative instead of spelling pa. Yeah. And that's something I want to ask. Is the tab over here? Well, I'm jumping ahead, but or the tab, is that just the determinative on the on the cha-cha? I think so. I don't think it's red. But... Yeah, true. That's probably just Yeah, I read it, didn't I? I pronounce it, but it's probably just a determinative. I think so. Let's see what Ron just said. Oh, ja, ja, ja. I, think I think that's right. Ja, ja. What is it? Ja, ja. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But before we get there, so then the East East uh, Pui or Ise Pui. Okay. Ise Himse Hajaja. There we go. And Wa and Shanti. So by now we're very used to this one. Um, the T, again, that same ligature we were talking about a moment ago, uh, with the, the T and the Y going into, into one big sign. I think we've talked about the tree before. Yeah. Um, all right. I just want to point something out, because we've talked about it in the past, whether they use the coil for you or the coil chick for you. In this line above, we have side by side, um, and she flew and she sat, one with the coiled rope and one with the coiled chick, immediately one after the other. And I, can't, I have no idea why one and not the other. Right. So here's one, right? Mm -hmm. And here's the other. And they're certainly pronounced the same way. They mean the same thing, followed by the same pronoun, like you said. Mm -hmm. And here's, there's another one right here somewhere. Yeah. And that's the full form again. And here, mm -hmm. It's the simplified form again, so. Yeah. Wow, good spotting. Great observation, you're right. Uh, so it, it probably doesn't mean anything, and it's just graphical variation because you can, I think, to make it more interesting. <laughs> I don't want to jump to Chinese again, but calligraphy, there's like, I remember how my teacher pointed that out on one piece, you have the same simple character, Jir, written seven times, and every time it's different because Everything else would be boring. You don't want that. You, you want it different. So 
maybe that's what it is just keeping it interesting for the eye. yeah all those scrolls was like a hundred types of fool or so <laughs> like a hundred forms of the same character right 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 you're right yeah oh yeah true mm, i know what you mean <laughs> right and um, they like to do it with fool and like another one also like yeah yeah fool you're right yeah okay it's Maybe I'll just take the next one then. Um, I don't think our vampire ever hop, hopped on. No, he didn't. Okay. Um, so she's on the tree and what else? Um, use, use it or you say. Um, Osh and set. Use it. Yeah, that word gets tricky. You would read that as chem, right? If you, if you look at it. But there is the the I at the end. Um, apparently, that's Rime. Um, or, yeah, Rime, Rimnak, um, NM Rock, or Rock, Ejese, Jesek, N, and then comes Shesa, and our line breaks off. Um, I guess we'll continue there next time, but I'll take it up to there. So, um, and she said she was and she cried cried out um to said and she said to him uh, cry for thyself i guess um i'm not too sure what to make out of this n from uh emrok from your mouth um ejes ejedes that what you have said, Jessic, yourself, N again, um, not quite sure what to make out of that. Uh, she saw, I looked this one up, it's cleverness. And you know what? Let's finish that sentence. Twice, We're leaving it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> of course, I don't have it open. Um, apologies. Looks almost like cubist art on the on the screen. Lots of little squares. Text, where are you? That doesn't look right. One more. One more? That was six though. Is it the wrong six? Oh, there you go. Yeah, here we go. So that was, that's a her. Herok, Uput, um, Herok, Jesek. Um, and I'll, maybe I'll take this one too. Ich erak an. So let's. So we got as far as so your cleverness. Um, upon you, it judges you. Um, that's the same from the first line of our text um, from the contendings. Uputek with the object at the end. Jesek yourself. Full stop, I guess. Ich erak on. What is it now with you? Something of that nature. Uh, on being a, or on being the, the again in Coptic. Ich is ash. What? Um, so ash erak on. You could say this one in Coptic again. Not sure it would mean the same thing. The one thing I don't know what to make out of is the in. Um, what about like by? Right, no? that's what you use in Middle Egyptian to introduce the the subject of a of a passive sentence, isn't it? Um, 
by what's coming from your mouth. Yeah, like by your own mouth. By your own mouth, that what you've said. Thanks, you've so done. to speak. By your own cleverness. Yeah, that would make some sense. By your own cleverness, upon you thou art judged yourself. What is it now with you? Something like that. Right by there. What is it? What kind of sin? So syntactically though, so it, it finishes here, right? This thing here must be, so she said to him, this here must be an imperative. So something like arime, um, with a little imperative thing at the beginning. No, wait, that's not an, no, it is, it is, with an ethical dative. Uh, arime nak. Okay. In em rock. Then probably in English we would say comma in Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the grammar here. Uputuk. Art you judge uh, art thou judge yourself. Full stop. And then sentence with question mark. I guess. I mean, it's clearly very spoken. It's okie doke. Should we take a look at the hieratic? Because then we can close out this page. So. Sounds good. Let's do it. So you say, Osh. And said, you say that jot naf, very small n, very big f. Arime, if we're correct with that, nice way how to write the i here. Um, enak, we talked about that before. Uh, in em rock. Honestly, this is also familiar by now. Uh, Su is interesting. I think we had that before, but just in case. So like a little serif here goes down and then the main thing is horizontal to distinguish it from the reed leaf. Um, B cobra in jis, self, jisic. You, this one's interesting. So I looked that up in, in Lesco. There's several words which are uh, shisa, so sh, s and a, aleph. And they always start with the, the s and then followed by the sh. I'm not sure how we know that the pronunciation is the other way around. Maybe because there's a sa afterwards. Is that it? But why is there another s in front of it? Not sure. And then let's finish this here. Rock. Rock, oop, you can see how he does the oop. Um, little u, little t. And then took at the end. I think by now that's also clear. Ich with a book roll underneath. Erak with a vertical k. On and then maybe the last, that's a new character. I think we see it for the first time here. The legs walking backwards, so this thingy, this un should be arm, n, and then legs walking backward. And apparently that's how you do it, like a little b thingy. And then cool. Something like that. Mm -hmm. he's, he's gonna do it a few more times, like in the next line here. Oh, yeah. And there's uh, another one. And we're gonna get there next time, but basically he says to him, so what, what is it with you now? And then he goes crying to Reharachte, and Reharachte, the first thing that comes out of his mouth is, so what is it with you now? It's basically, <laughs> it's getting kind of comical. But I guess we'll get there next time. Oh, before we leave, I want to point out one thing because <clears throat> about this misspelling of cry. There's a footnote in the Simpson translation because he translated this as the word chem 
to be ashamed, be ashamed of yourself. And this footnote says on the verb chem, be ashamed, see Michael V. Fox, the song of songs and the ancient Egyptian love songs. I didn't um, follow up that reference and I couldn't find the word chem anywhere, but he's suggesting that this is a different word altogether. Uh, that would make sense. So I don't know what's right, what, who's right there, because that's definitely the determinative for cry. And, and he does it more than once because like a little bit further down, uh, here it is again, same thing. Hmm. So it's yeah. not a typo. It's not a typo. It, it's intentional. And both times he writes very clearly, ch. So it would be, I, I would like it better if it were a different word. Because yeah. otherwise, like writing ch instead of r makes no sense whatsoever. That's quite a, quite a mistake to make. Oh, here it is again. Yep. So it's like three times in a row. Chem. Chem, chem, chem. And what was the reference for chem? Uh, to be ashamed. See, Michael V. Fox, The Song of Songs and the Ancient Egyptian Love Songs. It's um, in the translate, in the book. And if you scrolled up to the translation, you'll see it on page, page 96. Um, it's, a, it's footnote number 13 on the translation. Oh, cool. Maybe once in a while we should look at Gardner. <laughs> No, Gardner thinks it's a spelling mistake. Yeah, oh. she's talking about the Simpson translation. I'm talking about the Simpson translation. Oh, um, I think I have that it's one. It's in this book, yeah. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think gotcha. it's this in the same book. Is it in the same book or is it in a separate? Um, the love song. No, you know what, it's in a separate. It's the songs of, um, it's the, it was in the packet that came with, our, with the yeah. reading group. I think the song of songs is also on this papyrus, maybe, or there are some love songs on the other side of this papyrus. Yeah. So maybe that's where yeah. it came out. But oh, that was in the syllabus that Christian prepared originally. It was in the yeah. syllabus, yeah. Yeah, the Simpson translation. It's in that big ancient Egyptian literature in English. That's the one. Yeah. Book. Okay. Well, let's see if I can find that one. Um, yeah. That would be interesting. Guys, should we leave it here? That great point, though. I mean, yeah, we can just pick up with that next time. Follow up, track that down a little bit. We'll work. <laughs> okay. right, guys, fun as always. We can go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> well, we're going to need to because we don't have page seven, I don't think. <laughs> well, somebody Do we? Busy. Nope. Um, who could take that one on? Let me turn the, the recording off first. Um, oops, no, I don't want to stop screen sharing. Okay, I can stop screen sharing too, but where's the record button?